This is an unprecedented uh, initiative adopted by uh, the World Bank Group and announced by the president of the bank, uh, Mr. Zolik. It is adopting uh, a partnership approach with the whole Arab world, not with the individual countries. And this is basically what's unique uh, about it, that the bank here is not dealing with individual countries because this is the conventional way of dealing with all of the members of the Arab world as members of the World Bank Group. And there are already many projects under that old conventional approach that is going to be continuing. The new approach that's based on the partnership uh, between the World Bank Group and the members of the Arab world is going to be having an emphasis on regional integration, facilitation of trade and investment, uh, further integration of the Arab world economies with the rest of the world, enhancing the competitiveness and the capacity of the Arab economies to engage with the world economy and to maximize the benefits of uh, integration uh, with an aim to have uh, more opportunities for uh, the Arab youth to get decent uh, jobs through trade and investment facilitation and enhancing cooperation between the Arab countries. To achieve these objectives and uh, through the very healthy dialogue that happened and still happening uh, between the bank and the Arab countries. Uh, we ad identified three uh, groups of projects and activities. Uh, first on the infrastructure and the bank uh, is adopting a wide definition of infrastructure to include uh, road networks, maritime transportation, electricity connectivity and uh, various uh, projects in um, uh, IT uh, connectivity, uh, utilization of the internet, and uh, connecting the Arab countries uh, through um, sophisticated networks of uh, IT. Uh, but in addition to that, we have uh, very interesting projects on energy side, uh, especially renewable energy. Um, the bank enjoys comparative advantage in this field very good experts and already there are some projects in operations like the ones in Morocco and Egypt and other uh, other countries. Uh, this is basically the first group of uh, uh, projects and deliverables. The second is basically the support of the bank through private sector development either through the IBRD activities or through the private sector arm of the bank the IFC. And uh, we appreciate the uh, very good work and achievement of the first uh, Arab Economic and Social Summit that was held in uh, 2009 in Kuwait. And uh, there is now some good, decent funding for small and medium enterprises. But the bank has as well its own funding, has its capacity to, uh, to finance the private sector development, especially the small and medium enterprises. But equally important, the, the bank's ex expertise in providing uh, help and support to enhance the business environment, to uh, have an emphasis on entrepreneurial skills, to sharpen the skills of those who are going to be involved in managing and working in the small and medium enterprises. And this is basically the uh, second big uh, deliverable uh, within the initiative. The third, which I consider the most important of the pillars of the Arab World Initiative, is human development. Uh, basically, this initiative is about people, is about uh, enhancing the quality of life, investment in human capital through education and, uh, and health and providing opportunities. And uh, through cooperation with the Arab um, uh, countries, there are uh, very interesting proposals in uh, education and vocational training and uh, in linking the uh, um, uh, schools, universities, and training institutions with the, uh, the labor uh, markets. There is very good spirit of cooperation, and the bank is very much uh, um, responsive to uh, the demand coming from the uh, different uh, Arab countries uh, with this emphasis on regional dimension. But uh, we are working as well as an institution in uh, cooperation with different bodies uh, within the Arab world, 
and uh, we signed uh, a memorandum of understanding with the uh, Arab uh, League uh, to facilitate the cooperation and coordination of different activities and uh, to assign responsibilities properly and to agree on timelines for uh, the de delivery of projects and uh, to enhance the cooperation and deepening, uh, to deepen it further between the World Bank uh, experts and uh, those of the Arab League. In addition to that, the bank monitors um, all of the uh, resolutions and uh, decisions made to enhance the activities uh, for cooperation between the Arab countries, like uh, the uh, good outcomes of the, uh, the Arab uh, summits um, uh, of leaders with emphasis on economic and social uh, cooperation. And there is this good and continuous cooperation between the World Bank staff in, in the region and their counterparts in different uh, entities within the Arab world. So we are using all means of uh, possible uh, communication to enhance that. In addition uh, to that, we are going to be uh, seeing the progress of the uh, website uh, dedicated for monitoring the activities under the Arab World Initiative and this one of the uh, main means of communication, not just with the uh, Arab uh, governments, but with the Arab people at large.